So let's review the control structures in JavaScript. A control structure will tell JavaScript the flow where this program should be executed. It's like uh, the steps or the path that this program must follow. So first we're gonna take a look at the if operator. It's going to be really easy. We're gonna add something like const learning JavaScript and we're gonna add something learning JavaScript equals to true. And then you can add something like if learning JavaScript, we're gonna add console.log. And if this is true, we're gonna execute this code. Great. And if it's not true, we're going to execute this code. JavaScript is great. So we can save this and as you can see, we have great. So since this is true, it's going to execute this line. In case that this is false, you can see we have so bad. Uh, JavaScript is great. So you can control how this program is going to run uh, if the condition is met. Here inside the if statement, this is the condition that JavaScript is going to check. So for example, you can use the comparison operators. Let's remove everything from here. And I'm gonna add const score equals to 100. We're gonna check for equal if the current score is equal to 100, we're gonna print console.log. Yes, is the same, something like that else console.log no it's not the same so you can see here we're using the comparison operators that we saw in the previous videos and we're running these pieces of code based on these conditions so you can see yes it's the same if we change this to 200 like this you can see we have no it's not the same so when you have an if statement this is going to be executed if this condition is met. In the other hand, this is going to be executed. So in an if statement, only one of these is going to be executed, but not the two are going the two are not going to be executed when you have this in an if statement. So here we have equal, we're gonna comment this line and we're gonna take a look at not equal. We already saw this, uh, but we're going to add this in an if statement. If we add a score, not equal to 100, then this is going to be executed. Yes, different. And then we're gonna add an else statement. This is going to be console.log. No, not different. So something like this, and you can see we have, yes, they are different. If we add something like 100 right here, we're gonna print the other value. No, they are not different because we're checking if the condition or in the condition, we're checking if this is not equal. So if you remember, we have the strict comparison operator, which consists in three equal signs. So let's add something like this. We're going to add 100 like this, and we're gonna add, I'm gonna comment this, strict comparison operator, and we're going to add something like this, score, equals 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 and we're going to add 100 in single quotes console log yes they are different i'm gonna escape the the quote right here they are different like this and they are the same and else right here console.log no, they are different. And so I'm going to uh, escape this. They are different. Something like this. So save this. And as you can see, we have no, they are different because again, the strict comparison operator is going to check the value, which is 100 in both of these, but also it's going to check the data type. In this case, this one, in this case, this one is a number and this one is a string, so this is going to print something like this. If you add only two equal signs, it's going to check, yes, they are the same, because this is going to check only for the value, which in both cases is 100. So I recommend that you always check with the strict comparison operator. That's my recommendation. 
So the same as we have the strict comparison operator for equals, we have this for not equal. It's going to be like this. So save this. And you can see we have yes, they are the, well, this is not, they are the same. Yes, they are different. And here on the bottom, this is going to be, yes, they are the same. We're going to swap these, these, uh, these lines. And you can see we have, yes, they are different. If we remove these quotes, and we make this uh, the same, you can see we have, uh, no, they are the same because they are not different.